Hey everybody, Michael Snyder, Pacific Northwest Weather Watch. Today is September 4th, and right now we are looking at the mid-level water vapor loop. You can see Washington, Oregon here. Check out this ridge of high pressure. This is going to bring some very warm conditions across the Pacific Northwest for the next few days. It's even going to turn things offshore a bit, so we're going to introduce some of the smoke going on across the higher terrain and some of eastern Oregon back into places west for a few days. Not what anyone wants to hear, but we'll take a look at that. We'll take a look at the extended forecast as we always do and let's dive into some of those details one more look at things here uh, yesterday let's scroll through this a bit here and you can see that thunderstorm activity was moving across the eastern portions spinning the atmosphere that was our upper level low and you can see that continue to push off and bring a lot of lightning there across some of western montana and as well as idaho and then that pushes off to the east and that is now out of our region here and you can see the ridge on the mid-level water vapor loop here as well now taking a look at the thunderstorm activity again one more time it's pushing off to the east and there is day two and no threat here for the Pacific Northwest over the next few days. Heat is going to be the main concern. And then we'll take a look at the extended forecast here in a moment. So uh, let's take a look at Seattle Tacoma. I want to show you where we are right now. We're in early September right here. And you can see what the average highs are doing this time of year. They're rapidly dropping off. And by the time you get towards October, you know, we're back down into the 60s here. And then by the time you get to November, we're back into the 50s and December even worse. And then you can see that we start to pick up those precipitation amounts once we really get into the month of October. But it is that time of year where it's very difficult to get warm spells uh, across much of the region here and you can see we're actually below average so far for this time of year as far as precipitation rainfall has occurred and we only got three hundredths of an inch so far this year in snowfall hopefully we can turn that upside down as we go on into the fall and the winter months on in through next year so looking at the european this is a uh, last night's review here so i'm just going to put this in a motion showing you you can see there is some moisture that moves up into extreme uh, western bc across haida Gwaii there but you know for the most part we're going to be protected across much of the pacific northwest as i let this just loop through as this ridge is going to keep us precipitation free for the most part over the next 90 hours as we go on in through saturday afternoon and if we take a look at 18,000 feet 500 millibars you can clearly Clearly see the ridge it'll be dominating our weather this is tonight look at that ridge just set up right over western washington we continue on in towards the weekend here and the witch ridge does weaken a bit here but we're still going to have some southerly flow out in front of this so we're going to turn things on short a bit and cool us down somewhat but you know it's not a full-blown rainstorm coming in here or some kind of major system right now and the models have been very squirrely with backing off and then producing troughs and backing off on those as well so we'll, more on that here in a moment if we take a look at what is going on at about 5,000 feet, you see Washington, Oregon is here. But you see the flow kind of turn offshore and the very warm temperatures all off for this time of year. This is the temperature anomaly at 5,000 feet again. And you can see things remain very warm as we go on in through Saturday. We start to scroll on in towards Sunday. And we may start to get a bit of an onshore flow as we go on in through the day Sunday. We'll be watching that closely. But you can see the cooler air trying to arrive out of the west by the time we get towards Monday night. And that would be about September 9th. Now, looking at mean sea level pressure, as you see the ridge build over the area, you see the high pressure kind of dropping back down on the east sides, and you can see the thermal trough up the coastline there. That's what's going to help turn things offshore here. And again, these are very subtle features at this time of year. Well, at any point of the year, the thermal trough is a pretty subtle feature. But again, we're going to have that right over western Washington as we go through Saturday. So Saturday's probably going to be a pretty warm day, but then we start to push that thermal trough in a lind a little bit here, and that's just going to start to gently kick off on some of this onshore flow and start to cool places down especially west of the cascades so taking a look at what's going to result uh, from that thermal trough there it was some onshore offshore flow i should say and, and you can imagine where the smoke is going to go it's going to be moving from east to west you can see it moving across some of the willamette valley looks like western oregon is probably going to do worse than eastern washington especially as we roll on in through tomorrow but some of this could be making its way into western washington this is the entire atmosphere column of smoke and as we go on in through friday you can kind of see it. it's going to be with us here for the next 48 hours at least and probably on in through Saturday as well. And if we take a look at the surface smoke here, not as much coverage here, but this is the nasty stuff that you smell a lot at the surface. So we scroll on in through Thursday tomorrow and that could be trying to make its way into some of western Washington. But look again, like Willamette Valley is going to get the worst of it. And the models don't do that well with just how much of the smoke is going to be coming into the area. You know, it depends exactly on the trajectory and just how active these fires are obviously but you can still see this is probably enough that you would be noticing it across a lot of the willamette valley as we go through the day 
tomorrow and then on in through Friday morning and probably again not kicking out here till at least Sunday. We'll be watching that. We'll recheck on that tomorrow. So take a look at the extended forecast and it's that time of year where we're starting to transition towards cooler fall weather and you know troughs are not uncommon across the gulf of alaska during the month of september so when you see them out there it's not a surprise we're probably going to develop a trough at some point here during the month it's going to be moving into the pacific northwest that's not going out on a limb so as we go through tomorrow morning this saturday ridge over the pacific northwest you can see pretty good model agreement between the european on the left versus the gfs on the right troughing here across the gulf of alaska but you notice it's not that strong we kind of drop this upper level low maybe down across of the west coast of north america depending on its trajectory here it could be bringing some precipitation as we look off in towards next week but something we're not going to get too caught up in just yet just showing you the possibility for it right now and then we'll revisit this on a daily basis before we get some better model agreement because you can see as we go out 248 uh, 240 hours the european has this deeper trough out over the gulf of alaska and uh, the gfs showing some ridging with some troughing right along the immediate west coast and then you can see something stronger showing up at way off into fantasy land there but you know you take that with a grain of salt and you can throw it out the window at this point so take a look at the european ensemble mean this is last night's run that goes out 144 hours so again the ridge is going to be with us for a while and then some troughing does try to show up as we go on into the early portion of next week and we'll definitely be cooling things down for places west of the cascades by that point and if we take a look at Seattle, Tacoma, check out today, you're going to feel that warm up, but then really ramping up the heat as we go through Thursday and Friday. This is downright hot for Seattle at this time of year. Then the gradual cool down here as we start to turn things back on shore. Same thing for Portland. Look at this Thursday and Friday, 102 and 100, just blistering hot for this time of year. So interesting stuff. And then the gradual cool down there as we go through the next two weeks. Here's Tillamook all the way out to the Oregon, Washington coastline. Very warm conditions, 84 and then 87. Still a nice day on Friday, then the gradual cool down as we start to turn that flow back on shore. And here's Tri-Cities, Eastern Washington, Eastern Oregon. You're looking at some hundreds out there as well. And here's a story. Look at that, 89 degrees on Thursday all the way out to the Oregon coast. So get out there and enjoy that. Uh, taking a look at the 6 to 10 day, this is the point in the forecast where we're just going to start backing off on some of these above average temperatures here for the Pacific Northwest. And we'll see just how long it's going to be before we start to introduce some below normal here when the trophy starts to get in here later in the month. Above average precipitation showing up here. Take that with a grain of salt. We'll worry about that here over the next few days when we get some better model agreement. But yeah, anyway, here goes the ridge. And then we'll watch to see what Mother Nature has got in store for us as far as the Gulf of Alaska trophy as we go through the month of September. Still, models all over the place with the strength and the position of those troughs. We'll continue to watch it. We'll break it all down tomorrow. Hope you guys are having a good day. I will probably go out and do one more dust and devil uh, chase again here today. Uh, I'm going to go out there and set out some time lapse cameras and whatnot on some favorable fields out there. Probably the last one because I'm working on the greatest dust devil hits of my career. I'm going to release that video here over the next few weeks or so. Um, but yeah, it's been a pretty good year out there and maybe I'll go out for one more day today. We'll see how that goes, but yeah, be ready for that heat and then we'll watch to see what's coming in the future. Anyway, hope you guys are having a good day. Click like and subscribe. We'll do this all again tomorrow and I'll talk to you guys then.